Due to the fact that the interior of the 2023 Dodge Durango Savarty Hellcat can accommodate up to six passengers and that it is powered by 710 horses, this vehicle is among the quickest ways in the world to transport children to and from school. The bloated body of the Durango, which takes its aesthetic cues from Dodge's muscle vehicles, complements the enormous power plant that comes standard on the vehicle. Welcome everyone, in today's video, we're going to look at 2023 Dodge Durango Hellcat, world's fastest minivan, which shocks the entire car industry. The Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat comes standard with all-wheel drive and has a surprising level of cornering grip for its size, all of which contribute to the impression that it is a thrill ride. The interior is roomy and tastefully appointed, with upper trim levels featuring features and conveniences that are almost on par with those seen in luxury vehicles. The Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat can do double duty as a big toy hauler thanks to its towing capacity of 8,700 pounds. This unexpected layer of practicality is added to the vehicle when considering its performance capabilities. But before we proceed further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the 2023 Dodge Durango Hellcat, world's fastest minivan, shocks the entire car industry. What's new for 2023? After a year off the market due to customer demand, Dodge will bring its most potent sport utility vehicle, SUV, back for the 2023 model year. It is once again powered by a supercharged 6.2-liter V8, and it now has new plus and premium trims, each of which adds luxury items including as leather seating, a power sunroof, and premium audio equipment. Additionally, it retains its standard powertrain configuration. The last time the Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat was available, all of the 2021 versions were sold out, and the company reports that there was sufficient desire to justify bringing back the hot SUV for 2023. We believe the asking price for the Durango SRT Hellcat is too high, but purchasers did not share our opinion. For best performance, we would upgrade to the Pirelli P0 summer tires on the 2023 model of our choice, but we would get the model without the available flashy stripes as an option. We recommend going with the premium trim level, which comes with a leather-wrapped dashboard and carbon fiber interior trim in addition to the available 19-speaker Harman slash Kardon sound system. This sound system is a terrific way to drown out the constant whining of the supercharger, which is another reason why we recommend going with this level. The performance, the engine, and the transmission. The hood is swollen and vented, indicating that there is a monstrous engine hidden behind it. It is a 6.2-liter V8 that has been supercharged, and it generates 710 horsepower and 645 pound-feet of torque. An 8-speed automatic gearbox is used to distribute this earth-shattering power to each of the vehicle's four wheels. The Hellcat engine has been outfitted with a more powerful exhaust system, which helps to amplify the engine's roar. This audio is mixed with the recognizable whine of its enormous supercharger, but the blower also squeals at low revolutions per minute, which is really annoying. The model that we tested accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds, which was the same as a 797 horsepower Challenger TSRT Hellcat Redi that we tested, and it finished the quarter mile in 12.0 seconds while traveling 115 miles per hour. In addition to this, it has a towing capacity of 8,700 pounds, which is greater than that of any other mid-size crossover SUV. The Hellcat Durango rides on a specially tuned suspension with adaptive dampers and 20-inch by 10-inch wheels with either standard Pirelli all-season tires or optional Pirelli P0 three-season tires. Both tire options are available. The latter was installed in our test vehicle, and it resulted in a remarkable level of taut body control as well as 0.87 G of cornering grip. A potent Brembo braking system is utilized by the top of the line Durango. This system binds its 15.75 inch front rotors with six piston calibers and its 13.8 inch rear discs with four piston binders. These brakes slow to 55, 34 pound vehicle traveling at 70 miles per hour in just 165 feet. Economy on fuel and actual miles per gallon, the EPA projects that the fuel economy of the Dodge Durango Savarty Hellcat 
will be a pitiful 12 miles per gallon in the city and a not very impressive 17 miles per gallon on the interstate. When we have the opportunity to test the family hauler with more than 700 horsepower on our highway fuel economy route at 75 miles per hour as part of our rigorous testing regimen, we will be able to analyze its miles per gallon in real-world driving conditions. Cargo space, interior design, and amenities. The interior of the Hellcat Durango features a driver-focused layout with a dashboard design that is reminiscent of that found in the Dodge Charger and Challenger. The instrument cluster of the Super SUV has some distinctive red accents, and the flat-bottom steering wheel of the vehicle has a set of paddle shifters and an SRT emblem that has red backlighting. In addition, the Hellcat model comes standard with seats that may be heated, ventilated, and upholstered in Napa leather. The front cushions of the seats also include micro suite inserts. You also have the option of upgrading the interior to Laguna leather, which features embossed Hellcat insignia and comes in a color combination that is black and demonic red. Copy holders, a visible T handle shifter, a large storage bin, and space for a wireless charging pad are all included in the center console of the vehicle. The Durango has spacious and comfy seating, as well as a third row that can be folded down out of the way. Models that we have tested in the past have held an astounding amount of carry-on baggage with the ability to swallow four bags behind the backmost row and up to 26 with the second and third rows stowed away. This is an impressive amount of storage space connectivity and informational entertainment. Its infotainment system is controlled by a sizable touchscreen measuring 10.1 inches diagonally, and it is compatible with the most recent version of the company's Uconnect 5 software. Touch inputs are the primary mode of interaction with the user interface. However, there is also a rotary volume knob and tuning knob incorporated into the temperature control panel below. Expanded voice commands are now possible thanks to the integration of Amazon Alexa capability into the system. Additionally, the system supports the connection of two Bluetooth devices at the same time, a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto interface, in addition to a Wi-Fi hotspot that requires a subscription are a couple of the other popular features. A rear entertainment system that includes a pair of screens measuring 9.0 inches each and is positioned on the back of the front seats is an additional option that may be added to the Durango. That's all for today's video. Would you buy 2023 Dodge Durango Hellcat? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.